the last thing that we're going to do to finish this assignment is to uh, mount the two drawings on a piece of background paper. So when an artist glues their artwork down onto another surface for display, it's called mounting the artwork. So what you're going to want to do is select uh, the color for the background that you feel like ties in the best. Uh, I've got about 10 different colors for you to pick from, and then you're just going to pick one that you like the most. Then what I want you to do is set your two drawings out on top of that background background paper so there's about a finger distance around on all sides. Um, you can just lay it down and then just kind of move it around until it looks equally spaced and they don't look crooked. Then what we're going to do is use this little bottle of Elmer's glue to glue down the corners only. So I'm going to hold that paper still and I'm just going to kind of bend back one of those corners and I might have to turn my page uh, as I do this but I'm gonna fold back the corner and I'm gonna put just a little dot of glue just like that. I don't know if you can see it very well in the camera um, but I'm gonna put a little dot of glue about a finger distance from the edge of the paper and then I'm gonna lay that down and put some pressure on it. When I press it down, the glue is going to expand, so you don't want too much glue close to the very edge because then the glue is going to show on the background paper. So I've got my little dot of glue and I'm going to lay that down and press it. If glue squeezes out, just wipe that glue off and you want to repeat this on all four corners. So there's my little dot of glue and I press that down, wipe off the extra glue. Um, then it doesn't dry immediately. If I need to, I can still slide this around as needed to kind of straighten it out. So now I'm going to position my next one. That looks pretty equal and even. It's about a finger distance from the edge and from the one next to it. So I'm going to hold my hand on one side so it doesn't move around. I'm going to peel back to put a dot of glue and I, maybe I do two corners on this one at the same time. So I've got my little dots of glue in both corners. Now I lay it flat and press it down. Peel that other side back. I'm going to do two dots of glue. That's all I need. And lay it down. So now that my project has been secured to the background, the last thing that I want to do to finish this up is I want to sign my artwork so that I know I am the artist of my assignment. I'm going to sign it down on the bottom edge of the frame and I don't want to draw it so big that all I see is the name. I want it to be just kind of down in the bottom corner so it's not distracting from the overall artwork. So um, you could print your name, you could write it in cursive, it's up to you. So there's my signature down at the bottom edge. Um, just to be double sure that I can read that name and I know exactly whose assignment this is, I need for you to turn your whole project over and I need for you to print your first and last name and write that on the back side so I know whose project is whose. Now, if you're using dark colored paper and your pencil doesn't show up very well, then what you can do is get your box of colored pencils and look for maybe your white or your yellow. And now when I write my name, I can see that a whole lot better. So same thing on the front side. If you can't see your signature very well on the front side, then you can always get that white colored pencil and you can sign it again on the front side where it stands out a little bit more and then you will be turning in this assignment to me today.